Alright, Digital Extremes release some new weapons with the new war. It's easy to get caught up when DE is busy jangling the keys of a fancy cinematic experience in your face, no matter how empty and hollow it is. <laughs> Well, we didn't get some crazy, beefy meat and potatoes endgame system after the quest, or at least an attempt, we did get a few freebies. The Nataruk Hunhao ripped off his spindly dong, tied a few knots around it, and called it a day. It served its purpose in the new war as a way for... Two. But in the hands of a master builder like me, I wonder what... Are you fucking kidding? I mean... Shit. Shitbo. I mean, you need to charge it? And time it? While aiming? Do I look like an Osu player? No! <laughs> Only 60% chance on a perfect charge. Red crits in 2022? We should be in black crit territory at this point. Look at all of this difficult content. DE needs to up their ante. I swear to God, YouTubers, if you screw this shit up and get one of the most fun and powerful weapons Warframe has released in the past few years nerfed, I'm going to make sure that you know what the inside of the infesticles lower intestines look like. And it only comes with four polarities? Only four. All Matterai? Couldn't even slip me the D like a back alley Fortuna combat? How else am I going to fit in all of my mods? Thanks, Kojima. But I guess if you wanted to make it good, either a standard corrosive build or viral hunter munitions should get the job done against level 30s. It has infinite ammo, and despite that, I'd still run vigilante armaments for the chance of upgrading your crits. So, uh, yeah, give it a go. Give it a go and say nothing else about it, because if you do, I will find you, and I will fuck you up, kid. I will fuck you. Yeah.